Big developments this week in health, AI, and science. Here's your quick roundup. First, a bold prediction about the future of medicine. The end of disease? I think that's in within reach. Speaking to 60 Minutes, Google DeepMind CEO Demis Hassabes says artificial intelligence could help cure all diseases within the next decade. While Hassabis is optimistic about revolutionizing drug discovery, he also warns that keeping systems safe and aligned with human values will be critical as the technology becomes more autonomous. In other groundbreaking tech news, scientists in Sydney have successfully 3D printed bone that can be implanted directly into patients. Using a specialized calcium phosphate bioink, the technique mimics the complex structure of real bone offering a future where 3D printed implants could naturally integrate with the body. An orthopedic surgeon says this could be the holy grail for treating patients. We can print and make something that will fit perfectly that patient and then that patient will adopt their biology into that bone. Again, that is the holy grail. Meanwhile, a new discovery for male birth control. A non-hormonal contraceptive called ADAM, dubbed the IUD for men, was found to block sperm 100% effectively for two years in early trials. The treatment involves injecting a special hydrogel into the vas deferens, the tube that transports sperm from the testicles during ejaculation. No serious side effects were reported, although questions remain about long-term effects and whether it's fully reversible. And finally, a growing battle over free speech in science. The Department of Justice sent this letter to major medical journals like the New England Journal of Medicine and CHEST, probing whether they're too partisan in scientific debates and asking questions like how do journals assess their responsibilities to protect the public from misinformation. Editors and free speech advocates are sounding the alarm, warning that the move could threaten the editorial independence of medical research and politicize healthcare publishing at a time when public trust is already fragile. In response, Chess issued this statement claiming they adhere to all ethical guidelines and apply strict peer review standards. For more health and science news, visit biohackyourself.com and follow Biohack Yourself Media on Instagram. And remember to grab your copy of the Biohack Yourself magazine, available now at over 5,000 locations across North America, or you can also subscribe directly through our website at biohackyourself.com.